Hey everyone, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. This channel is usually dedicated to sterile processing specific stuff, but a lot of people have been asking me to talk about surgical technician stuff since that is also my background and I'm a certified surgical tech. I was trained through the army and I have a lot of experience in a lot of different specialties, but most recently my, my largest specialties I did was Da Vinci robotic surgery, uh, neurosurgery and orthopedics. But in this video, I wanna talk about how to become a surgical technician. Whether you're working at switching careers or maybe this is your first big career that you're going for, this career field has so many opportunities and it's a fantastic career field. And that's for many reasons like pay, the benefits, the experience you get, the longevity in the career. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, specialties, first assist, you can get in there, kind of learn what nursing staff does, anesthesia staff does, and you might even go on from surgical tech to do something else. I have got to see a lot of really crazy stuff in my surgery career, and it's stuff I'll truly never forget. So first off, let's make sure we are on the same page. A surgical technician is a member of the surgical team who is responsible for preparation of the operating room, setup of the surgical instrumentation, sterile field setup, maintaining the integrity of the sterile field, and passing instruments, assisting in surgery if needed, anticipating the surgeon's need ahead of their work, which is a very critical, important part of a surgical technician. The more and more you do the work as a surgical tech, the more you understand kind of the structure of the procedure and kind of can guess what the surgeon is gonna need ahead of time. A lot of times you'll hear surgical techs are the ones who pass the instruments. Well, that's true, but that's only a fraction of what we do. Surgical techs are needed everywhere. You can look up on Indeed or other websites and look for surgical techs, and there's always a need for surgical techs, always. So the opportunities are always there to find a career that is competitive in pay and benefits that works best for you. And then you can even become a travel tech where you could get to experience a lot of different places and get paid more money while doing it. Now let's get into it. How do you become a surgical tech? Well, this job has a lot of direct patient contact involving surgery, so education and training is absolutely required. Now I'm not saying that every state requires a college education or a high school diploma or any of that stuff. There are still states that don't have a bunch of laws around surgical technology where you could potentially get hired and on the job trained through your local medical center. Before I joined the army, I actually applied for one of these programs at my local hospital back in Arizona. And unfortunately I didn't get it. They had a different candidate they chose. I'm not bitter. So at that time I was 18 and I was trying to decide, do I find a school for surgical technology or do I just join the army and get paid and schooling and everything else for free? And that's what I chose. But I understand that's not for everybody. So all that to say, each state is different when it comes to what they require. So you need to check with your state laws and legislator to see what are the laws and credentials and requirements and trainings that are required around surgical technician jobs. This list of states actually has legislation around training and certification requirements. If you do not live in one of these 18 states, you may be in luck and might have much faster access to this career if you just put yourself out there. If you do end up going through some type of surgical technician training program, whether it's in the army or it's at one of these uh, technical colleges, medical colleges, you are going to go through all the didactic training, learning all the different stuff like what instruments are called, microbiology, surgical technology, aseptic technique. You're gonna learn all this different stuff. And then you're gonna to get to the point where you can actually apply this with mock or fake surgeries, where you actually practice gowning, setting up back tables, um, prepping for the surgery. Um, a lot of times they'll have a mannequin where you can actually assist the instructor who is the doctor who is performing the surgery so you can do it from start to finish and then break down the room preparing for the next case. And then at the end of your training program, there's always some sort of internship or externship, whatever they call it, where they usually have agreements with local hospitals where you can go in and actually 
be with a surgical tech in surgery scrubbed in learning the process and how to pass and, the, and everything that goes on in a live surgery, which is really freaking exciting. Even though I was in the army and there was a lot of yelling and there was a lot of punishment, the whole process of learning to be a surgical tech was so freaking fun for me. Now the Bureau of Labor projects that the field of surgical technology will grow by 5.9% which across the US is 6,500 jobs. And that's over the next decade. And I know that might not seem like a lot, but if you think about all the surgical tech jobs that are currently open, and then you add the fact that it's gonna grow 5.9% in the next decade, adding 6,500 jobs, there is gonna be endless opportunities for you to get the job, the hours, the pay, the benefits you want. You'll never have to struggle finding a job. If you decide to move to a different state, to a different town, you are gonna be qualified in a very critical area that you can get hired pretty darn easy. Now, if you all want me to do a video on how to get certified, as a surgical technician, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I get enough comments and likes, I'll go ahead and produce that video. I have left some links in the description down below to give you access to more information about surgical tech, some different school opportunities, um, stuff that you can get a start on figuring out what you wanna do. I also have a link down there, the first link in the description to differentiating surgical instruments. This was the very first book I bought, much earlier version, um, when I wanted to become a surgical tech. And I used this book to study all the basic instruments ahead of time. And by the time I got in school, I was already way ahead of other people. This is a wonderful book and I definitely recommend it. Any other topics or videos you wanna see, please leave a comment down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.